This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Luke. Hopefully you are having a fantastic day or morning, whatever time of day it is for you today. How are you doing? Hopefully you are all right. We are, I don't actually know where we are. <laughs> this is a great way to start a video. Um, we are on our way to do a collection um, from a place. <laughs> um, all we know is it's, um, hard wood or something I think um, for the road I realized this is a terrible terrible intro <laughs> um, we're, we're just around the corner from where we need to be we're going to a housing estate um, everything's a bit I don't know what I'm doing at the moment <laughs> um, but I'll tell you what I do know so I'm in G11 we're not in my truck just yet uh, G16 we're still waiting for it to have an MOT uh, once it's had the MOT we can crack on uh, this road is closed, please don't be closed, is this, no, okay, right, and we, we got a flatbed on, um, we got a flatbed on and we're delivering to Bristol, I can tell you that in a minute, uh, at the moment, sorry, but we're being loaded from a housing estate, we are literally about to enter a housing estate, I've been, been told it is definitely 100% the right place, um, but I still think I might park outside on the main road, before going in just, just to confirm that we are indeed in the right place yeah so um, the uh, the paperwork I've got says uh, road plate uh, as description of goods so whatever a road plate in is in my head I'm picturing a metal plate <laughs> but I do recall picking up road plate before from this particular company that we're delivering to in Bristol and it was basically wood like literally thick beams of wood so um, and we we're on the flatbed then as well so I got a funny feeling it will be wood um, which they will stack onto the trailer and then I obviously just strap it all down it's quite heavy wood I believe as well very thick beams if I'm if I'm remembering the right thing anyway Right, we're just coming up to the house in the state now. So, I, do I park on this road? No, I can't, I don't think I can park on this road. So I'm gonna turn right, and then I've gotta take the next left. Really? Is it really down here though? Okay, the fact there's a road sign there is a good sign. Should we just risk it? Yeah, there's there's markings on the ground that I'm just gonna risk it. I'm just gonna go straight down. Let's put the beacons on. We don't want to be getting stuck down here. Not an awful lot of room for us to spin around. I'll leave my seat back on actually. Ah, there's construction stuff there. Where do we want to go? Where are we going, Luke? Where are we going? I haven't really left a lot of room for cars to get around me. It's a dead end down here. But... There is another junction here. And if I park here, it might be a bit easier for cars to get around me. Potentially. Wow. 
we don't have a lot of room. Hazard's on. But I think we need to go take a walk. See what we've got to do. Right, we're just going for a walk down here because I saw a construction company down here. On the other side. <laughs> He's having a good look. <laughs> He's having a very good look. Alright, let's go have a wander. Right. How was that for Chancellor? The exact stuff we're loading is right where I stopped. How is that? Good. Right, I think we're going to be moving back and forth for vehicles. Okay, right. This might take a while. Oh, look, there's a car here already. This is a dead end street as well. This is the only way out. Let me just double check. Yeah, this is the only way out. If he, if he wants to come out, he's going to have to properly come out. I want to stay here. Okay. I'm up on the trailer. This is um, not very straight, but. <sighs> we have to move again now. Okay, we're nearly, well, we are done now. Just got to strap up the last bit. There's a car park right behind me, so I've got to try and get <laughs> past it in a sec. But let's, uh, let's continue strapping up. Right, we're loaded. That took quite a while. I think we got here for 11 o'clock, so. It's an hour and a half we've been here for. <sighs> Just gotta get the map up on my phone so I can see where I am in relation to the wheel behind me here. So we've got to reverse all the way back. So let's do that. <laughs> Hazards are on, beacons are on. Matey boy should be watching me back. Yeah, it's a bit of a reverse, a bit of a reverse back this is, between traffic, between parked vehicles. Let's watch this van. Back end of my trailer is right against the van right now, so I'm just getting at an angle good enough to miss it. Okay, here comes the van. And you can now see the gap I just had to reverse between. <laughs> Not too bad, didn't actually go on a curb. I think the front, well, the front left just scrapes it. I believe, looking at the map on my phone, the crossroad is going to be slightly towards my driver's side. So I'm just, oh, I'm on the curb now, just angling it. I'm starting to angle it at a position where I can cross the road. Where that black car is. I don't know if you can see the black car, but that's where I'm going. I 
what they, we can get out from that. Cheers, mate. Lovely. I love this sort of work because it's like, it's more challenging. Beacons are on. I love construction work. Right, if we want to turn left out of here. Let's close my phone down. There we go. No more distractions. Lovely. And now we're out of here. We can turn the beacons off. Good to go. So it's an hour and 42 minutes to our next destination, which is in Bristol. Should be there for about 10 past two. Um, the thing is, what we just did, took an hour and a half to load, I think we've got to do again on the other end, which is uh, a little bit annoying, because uh, I'm just a driver, I'm not a loader. You're going to keep coming around, aren't you, mate? I don't know where you expect me to go. I'm already in the middle bit. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Mr. Tesla driver. Or Mrs. Thank you. Was a mister. Round we go. Oh, just hit the, the middle bit. So yeah, um, I think we're going to have to offload it again the other end. So it's going to take a while. Uh... And the boss did say something about potentially loading from Tetbury today, but the thing is, they shut at like four o'clock, half past four. Might be later now because it's uh, lighter at night. They don't get dark until like five, so maybe they would load until five now. I don't know. We'll have to see on that one. But um, yeah, this is what we're doing for now on the flatbed, delivering this to Bristol. And then we'll find out what we're doing from there afterwards. But yeah, I love this sort of work. I love flatbed work delivering stuff like this, something different, going down tight roads. Come on. <laughs> it's like nothing on your right hand side, you slowed right down. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's my favorite stuff. I like a challenge. And it, it wasn't much of a challenge, that reverse. But it's better than delivering to an RDC. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm gonna go. I will see you when we are in Bristol. See you in a bit. Just wanna give a quick shout out to the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. It is a book absolutely rammed with information regarding anything HGV related. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Okay, we are in Bristol. Let's see if we can get past these lights before they change red. Every other light they've changed. <laughs> yeah, we're past. Right, so the place we're delivering to, we're actually going over a bridge right now. And the place we're delivering to is underneath the bridge uh, on the left hand side. So I am keeping an eye out because we're going to pass it in a minute. Right, this is the river. Did someone just get flashed? I think I saw a flash. We're going down that alleyway down there where all those cars are. I don't know if you saw that. That's where we're going. And the place we're delivering, I believe, is the white roof underneath that LED sign. I think that's where we're going. Slash underneath. Yeah, I see them there. Proper under, actually underneath the bridge. We gotta go. <laughs> right, we need to get to the right side lane because we need to go down here to get access underneath the bridge. We're gonna go past the Travis Perkins, which I've delivered to quite often. Um, and then I think we're going past the site where I did a collection, no, I did a delivery in G16. I don't know if you've seen on the photos, but there's a, there's a scrape on the bottom left-hand corner on G16, and it was a, a site round here. Anyway, we should be here. Go down this road. We should see the bridge that we uh, went on earlier. I can see it to my right-hand side already, look. A little bit snug around here. Yeah, let's park a car right on the corner. Great idea. 
There we go. There's the bridge we're on, so we're going under that. We're delivering to Marwood. Right in front of us. Oh, I'm hoping that they've got a big old forklift and they can just take it off in one go. Because it's all on um, on wooden blocks. So I am hoping they can just take it all off in one go. Take it we just drive in. I have a feeling they might want me to reverse in, you know. I'm gonna quickly see if I can see someone. Because it, nah, if I drive in, I can reverse out, actually. I'll just drive in. I can just reverse out. They do have a forklift, but it doesn't look like a big one. So, looks to me like they could be taking it off one at a time. And also looks like I'm gonna be going on one side and then moving over to do the other. That's what it looks like. Anyway, we're here. Let's go and find someone. Double check where exactly they want me. See you in a bit. Right, I've just gone and saw someone. They said take the straps off. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you now quickly. I mean, a couple of them have fallen off, look. That's why I do them up like this. So even if they do fall off the trailer, the straps aren't gonna be dangling on the road. But just, there we go. 40 of these slates all along the, tra the trailer. And as I was saying earlier, I've used three per row. So three, 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 three. Um, should be about four ton, that little bit there. But um, I've used three straps to cover me for seven and a half, just to be safe, especially considering they said that they slide. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna take all the straps off now. I've also got to give back these. Um, they cost a lot of money, apparently. I don't know how much exactly probably find out in a bit but basically they were used they were used to actually lift these up so you put that in there like that like that there we go and then that lifts them all up this is what we use to to load it all with apparently they, they cost quite a bit and they go missing so i'm going to give them back now but i'm going to ask how much they cost have a guess Awesome. Straps are now fully off. Uh, there's the bridge look that we were on earlier. It's right above us. And uh, I don't know if you can tell. Over there is the LED sign. There we go. We saw on the way in. So yes, they are using a forklift, which is good. It means it's coming off quicker. It's not by one by one, which is awesome. So they do this side first. And then I'll move on over to basically where I'm standing now, pretty much, get down this way. And then they can do the other side. I'll jump in the cab in a little bit. Interestingly, right next door is Bowling Stone, where uh, I did a lot of work for them when I was operating out of Bristol, when I was working for JK Transport, those of you who remember. Uh, delivering the aggregate bags to like Travis Perkins and all that. So yeah, Bowling Stone right next door. I thought it was familiar, this place. There you go, look, the Jockey Club in Cheltenham. Oh, on the British Red Cross. That was a sign we saw earlier. And there we are, look, just tipping over there. Lovely. So like, I've done everything I need to do now, straps wise, they're all off. So now I can just jump in the truck, wait for him to take one side off. And then, like I said, I would then move over to the other side. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Oh, forgot to say, I asked how much they cost, those things. Not as much as I thought. <laughs> Apparently they're about £100 each. And, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I thought. When he said it was expensive, I thought it'd be more than 100 quid. Uh, only 100 quid. <laughs> I didn't realise you done. done. It's only one side, isn't it? I was saying to myself, I didn't have to move over in a minute. I forgot it was just in the middle. <laughs> right, cheers for that, mate. See you later. Oh, well. Do you know what? I kept saying, I'm gonna have to move over to the other side to the other side. Of course I don't, because it's just, it was just eight in the middle of the trailer. So once, once you've taken them off one side, I didn't need to move over, because it's it, it's done. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. okay. Oh, dust, 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 stay out. Oh. <coughs> Bloody hell. <coughs> <coughs> 
That's going to settle in here. That's my mouth. There's a car there. Back we go. Back we go. Man, that's dusty. That'll do. Lovely. Sat nav thinks we are on the bridge. We are not. Let's get around here. Lovely doubly. Excellente. Just got to get around this corner now where the car is parked. Only this time it's going to be on the side which I won't be able to see very well. So we're taking it nice and wide. Nice and wide. Nice and wide. Yep, we're clear. Just parking on a corner is silly. Silly Billy Billy. Oh, that dust is in my mouth. That sign's telling me to slow down. <laughs> it's, it's inside there. Oh, that's funny. That's made me giggle. That's made me giggle. That's made me giggle. Right, anyway, so plan now is head back to the yard and load up for Silverstone. Um, that's all I know. But we have in the past got loaded for Silverstone. And it's not technically Silverstone the circuit, it's just the place at Silverstone. And uh, there's a place there that does wood. And I'm, so I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's going to be wood. Okay, wood is going on. Okay, we're getting there. So those two are on, strapped up. They can start the double stacks now. Uh, so the weight is in the middle of the trailer, weight distribution. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go around and continue strapping up while they're doing that. Happy days. Right, we're loaded. Just been chatting away for a little bit, as you do. Uh, so yeah, we've been told we can park here for tonight, out the front, which is good. It means in the morning when we come in, we won't have to walk as far <laughs> um, in the cold. I don't, I've got no problem walking far. It's just uh, it's a bit cold. Let's close that up. So yeah, let's get a good look at the truck. There we go. Ready to go. I'm just gonna jump in the truck now, take out my taco. I've already done end of day check, so we're good. Take my taco out and then we can go home. Here we go then, so put the destination into the Tom Tom Go Expert drive. I always do this of an evening, so I've got an idea of how long it's going to take to get there in the morning, so I know what time to leave. Obviously, we're going to go to 420, Oxford, 834, uh, M40 for a little bit, and then 43 up here, up to Silverstone, and then come off. So that is 71 miles, and it's saying it's going to take an hour and 40 minutes. So we want to be there for seven-ish, which means we want to be in the yard for about half five the latest I reckon yeah then we get there just after seven if, yeah 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 I'm gonna wake up at five o'clock tomorrow and then get in for around about 20 past five and then leave shortly after half past five that's what we do anyway so we're done engine can come off let's take out the tacker card finishing at 1720 today which is good okay we're done Walk back to my car now. Go home. Start again tomorrow. Oh, this is ambitious. This might have been a bit ambitious. <laughs> We're making it. We're making it. <sighs> we made it. <laughs> there she is. Don't know if I've ever told you. But I love my car. Right, I'm going home. See you in the morning. And good morning, everybody. 5.43. Started slightly later than uh, I planned to today. Mind you, technically, we haven't actually started yet. Uh, just turned up. But um, yeah, no, we're going to get the truck started, do some daily checks. And then we will uh, crack on to Silverstone. 
Yes. Here she is, look. So we'll, uh, we'll go around the truck in a minute, make sure all the straps are done up tight. And uh, do some checks, make sure everything's running and working properly. And then we'll crack on. She's looking good. All the lights are working. Straps are then up tight. We're pretty much good to go. Yeah, I'm happy with everything I've seen so far, so we're good to go. We've got to jump in the truck now, do some quick paperwork, and uh, yeah, then we can get going. I reckon we'll be there for about half past seven, maybe a little bit after. Let's see. Might make up some time on the way. Should be good. Anyway, let's go. There you go, that he's gonna start taking it all off now. Happy days. Lovely jubbly. Okay, we are tipped. We've just got our paperwork back. So we're gonna work that in there, start the engine up as well. Lovely. Ooh. Yeah, so we're tipped now and uh, we are about 50, 53 minutes away from our uh, connection point in Leighton Buzzard. Um, so yeah, good to go. I'm gonna assume the boss has something else planned for me because we're gonna get loaded maybe by 10 o'clock in Swindon for 12, tipped by half 12, quarter one. That can't be it for the day, surely. Um, orange waterproof trousers to go over what I'm already wearing so I've got to put them on when we get that. But you are. So we're gonna head off. I'm gonna go to Lake Buzzard. I will see you when we get there. Okay we are now in Forty Crete. Uh, we're not allowed out of the truck so we're sat in the truck at the moment. I don't actually need to be wearing that. Let's take that off. But yes we are now dressed fully head to top in orange clothing as required uh, with sight rules here. It is what it is. Um, they have a just. They just asked me if I could sit in my passenger seat, but I got stuff all on the floor down there. There's like stuff all over the place, so they're not. Really, there's no. There's no leg room. <laughs> so I was just asked if I could sit in the driver's seat, and I said I won't move. So yes, um, we're here. We're just waiting to be loaded. Once we're loaded, we will head to Swindon. If we left now, look. If we left now, ETA is eleven eighteen. Um, we're going to be here for about half an hour, 45 minutes, so we're going to be looking at about 12 o'clock, I reckon, in Swindon. Uh, maybe a little bit afterwards, because I might stop on the way to get something to eat and drink. So, yeah. Probably we'll be tipped in Swindon by one o'clock, so I don't know what we're doing after that. I'm going to have to find out. By the way, I just realised I said head to top. Head to bottom. What am I on about? <laughs> okay, and that's what we got. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the other side as well. Plus that one, so just 15 pallets. And that's what she looks like from this side. Happy days. Okie dokie. We're just around the corner now from where we need to be. We just come to Swindon from the other direction. But we've got to go to Dorkin, which means coming off the 419, spinning around and coming back again. So now we're going back towards Swindon. Because we're going to come off here. Let's put that engine brake on. Slow us down. Lovely job. 
Okie dokie, we get loaded with portal toilets out of there. Well, we were, we were doing it for a while. I've done it for a while now. Is it this right? I can't, I can never remember which right it is. What is that? Yeah, it is this right. Oh, you let me through. I suppose you don't have lights to flash me, no? That is a big trailer for a little thing. Uh, anyway, there is a track down here I can see. I'm going to assume it's for the other side, though, because we're going to go on the, uh, the little concrete patch on the right-hand side. We are going to park just here. It's looking very busy down here today. Okay, and if we park like this, we've got enough room over side, even though that lorry is there as well. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's get these straps off, give someone the paperwork, and hopefully we can be tipped quite quickly. Right, we are getting there. A few more pallets left to come off. Uh, I didn't want to get him on, on camera, but this driver recognised me. Come and said hello, so shout out to you. Should have asked if you were, well, if you were on camera, but never mind. <laughs> so, um, yeah, got a few more pallets to come off this side and the other side, and then we'll be done. Right, okay. We've got to try and get out of here now. We normally sort of go forward, turn right where that truck is in front, and reverse back to the left. Uh, and then turn around that way, but we can't obviously do it. I've got a vehicle right behind me as well. I'm just going to take my seatbelt off a sec because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. That is what I'm going to do. There's that wind I said about. <laughs> Lovely. Should be good. It's a little bit tighter than I thought that. <laughs> we can make it. We've just got to go on the curb on the left. There we go. Ugh. So, we're pretty much done for this video. Uh, I'm just going to head to Tetra now and get loaded. And strap that up. And then take that back to the yard drop the trailer and then tomorrow I'm doing some traction work for a um, an events company that's all the details I've got traction work for those of you who don't know means uh, I drop the trailer I go pick up somebody else's trailer use their trailer to do the work and then when you finish you drop their trailer back off again and then go back uh, solo which is just your, just your cab basically without the trailer on they even know where i'm going could be london <laughs> anyway uh i'm gonna crack on next time you see me we should be loaded and uh, then i'll end the video there see you in a bit okay we're nearly done we got uh eight on i think no one two three four five six seven yeah eight stats on so far so 16 in total uh we're waiting for eight more so put four on the back once they're on we can go uh, I believe we're waiting for that tractor there with our stuff on. So yeah, I think there's four more pallets to go on big ones and then we've got four there. Two, uh, you can see two and then two behind it. I think they've gone on the back, I think. Might be wrong, but uh, we're ready for it anyway. We've got the straps out ready to go. As long as, the, as, long as they go on, we'll, uh, we'll all be good. Can't see there being any issues, mind you. And yeah, once we're done here, straight back to the yard then we're going to drop the trailer and uh we're going to go home because tomorrow like i said earlier we're doing some traction work don't know what exactly but i guess we'll find out when we need to <laughs> okay we're tipped our trailer is over there sorry not tip keep saying that we dropped the trailer off we just uh this trailer had to have an mt and when it has an mt it had to have weight on it so um we got loaded from here, so I've just hitched up to this trailer, taking the wood off now. Close curtains, take it back around the back, unhitch again. Unfortunately, if you get back to the yard first, you've got to be the yard bitch. <laughs> yeah, there's not much to come off. It's only like five lifts either side. 
back. Not too bad. And then we'll take this trailer back round, unhitch it, and then we'll be done for the day. Uh, it's half past three, so we'll easily be done by four o'clock. Now, four o'clock isn't too bad of a finish. Very happy with that. And tomorrow, tomorrow could be either very exciting or very boring, we shall see. I might make a separate video for that. Um, so yeah, just being careful I don't get anyone on camera, so we're gonna go on the other side. Yeah, uh, tomorrow we've got to hitch up to an events trailer in Malmesbury. Not is it Malmesbury? No. I can't remember where it is. <laughs> uh, where is it? Membry, that's it. So we've got to go get a trailer from Membry. Uh, and we're taking it to somewhere within the M25. It's got uh, arena seating on it. And all we've got to do is take it there. Um, they'll offload it, apparently. And I just sit there while they build the arena and take back any other stuff they don't want back to memory again. So it looks like uh, a very easy day. Yeah, sorry, someone was talking to me then. Uh, so yeah, either it's going to be a very boring day or a very exciting day. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I've got to wait with the trailer. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right, the try again. It's just, at the moment, it's one of those days where <laughs> everyone wants to talk to me. That was my boss who just interrupted. As I was saying, tomorrow could be either a very interesting day or a very boring day. We'll have to wait and see. We might be sat around for ages doing nothing. Uh, or we might be sat around looking at stuff and getting some uh, some photos. So could go either way. If we are doing nothing all day, then what I'm going to do is, uh, if like we're there for like two or three hours, I can do my CPC class for my transport manager CPC. So yes, that's, that's, that's what I do if uh, if it is quiet. So yeah, shout out to uh, to NPT. We're gonna park around here somewhere. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to check out all my merchandise. Link is in the description down below. Custom designed hoodies by myself. Remember, drive safe, stay safe. I'll see you soon.